Let's bring in our Stephen A. Smith. He talked to uh, Steve Harvey pregame. He's talking to me postgame, so that's obviously a bit of a downer, Stephen A. Please hang with <laughs> us if you would. First thing, after game one, you put KD on notice. After tonight, what, what you saw to him, what are you thinking? I saw a superstar. I saw somebody that showed up and played like the superstar. We know him to be. He's a career 27-point-per-game scorer. He can score 30 in his sleep. He dropped 43 and 13 tonight and put on an absolute show. I understand it wasn't the 51 that LeBron dropped in game one, but I'm not going to lie to you. I couldn't tell the difference because he got absolutely no help whatsoever tonight from Steph Curry, who was absolutely awful offensively, shooting one of 10 from three-point range, three of 16. It just wasn't the good, a good night for the greatest shooter on the planet. Klay Thompson didn't do but so much either. In fact, nobody offensively for the Golden State Warriors did anything tonight. But every time you needed something, KD gave it to you. Every time you wanted something, KD gave it to you. And even when you weren't in the mood to get it, <laughs> he gave it to you anyway. And he gave it to Cleveland all night long, did what he wanted when he wanted, completely demoralized them, was hitting shots from all over the place. He was an absolute superstar tonight. That's the KD that I was demanding in game one. That's the KD that I've been looking for, and he showed up tonight. And by the way, if a performance like this duplicate is duplicated in game four, he will have stolen the finals MVP from Steph Curry, who had it on lockdown after the first two games. That's how sensational Kevin Durant's performance was tonight. Absolutely spectacular, nothing short of it. That's a great point. Everybody was saying the only thing Steph lacked from the mantle was a finals MVP, but maybe Kevin Durant gets his second before Curry gets his first. He had 43, six threes, made all of yeah. his free throws. You mentioned the numbers for Curry, one for 10 from downtown. What does it say? I'm not going to call this game relative ease, but when you can pull away in the fourth quarter and win on the road against LeBron James, what does it say to you when you can get that sort of performance from your team when, as you, you said, the best shooter in the world gives you nothing? It just tells you what the Golden State Warriors are made of. Listen, this is a team that knows it can do what it wants, when it wants, how it wants against anybody in the league because they just have superstar talent. It's just that simple. Superstar talent who know their roles and know how to play it and, more importantly, know how to master opponents. Let's look at Cleveland tonight. LeBron James made a huge mistake not coming out aggressively looking for his shot. He wanted to get the others involved. Paul Pierce, the truth, said this on SportsCenter with me at 7 p.m. What did he say? LeBron has to look for a shot. Can't prioritize getting others involved. He needs to look for a shot. That was mistake number one one mistake number two in the last two minutes as great as LeBron that was with the triple double why are you giving up the ball to Tristan Thompson this is what he did last year in game three when he gave up a shot in favor of Kyle Corver and Kyle Corver couldn't deliver something he could deliver and then the biggest mistake that Cleveland made as far as I'm concerned tonight if you're Ty Lu, why did you not double Kevin Durant? Did you not see the show that he was putting on? Did you not suspect the onslaught that was coming in your direction? You should have done something. Right before the half, when Kevin Durant had the ball, Jeff Van Gundy immediately jumped on the air and said, I don't allow him to ISO. I double him immediately and make sure he gets the ball out of his hands. Ty Lue doesn't do that. What does Kevin Durant do? Pull up for a three over Larry Nance. Bam, they go into halftime that way. These are the kind of things he was doing all night long. He did switch things up, did throw a multitude of bodies at Kevin Durant, but he didn't trap him and get the ball out of his hands nearly as much as he should have, and that let Durant get loose, particularly when you see Steph Curry off and Klay Thompson off to some degree. You have to do that. Ty Lue didn't, and he paid for it.